Well, here is the third step. So the third step in this, if you if you look, uh, you've got you're starting to get a little dimension to your chair legs right there and the backrest and all that good stuff. So the one that we made before in the second step, that really was the skeleton of it. And um, if you look at the original lines, they're in black. And from the original lines, you can see I'm coming out and adding some things here with, with my legs and such. So, so anyway, we're gonna get started on that. And the first little step, we're gonna end up drawing our green lines. And that is going to be the thickness of your seat area. You can see that right there. So one thing that I do want to let you know is all your lines, all the thickness of your of your wood needs to be the same. So I'm doing mine a, a tick mark. So you can take your ruler from the, the edge here and you just measure your, your thickness there. Okay, so in this area, this area, now this right here will just be drawn to your vanishing point there. So just make your little mark so that you won't get lost whenever you start doing that. So from here to that mark, I am going to line this up with my vanishing point. So the original line, you just bring another line down from it right next door to it. Uh, this line right here is the front of your box. So it's going to be straight and parallel. It does not go to a vanishing point. All right. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up making purple lines and our purple lines are going to denote the thickness of your chair legs and all that kind of stuff so if you look there's the original lines right there you can see a little purple lines all that good stuff so same thing and this so you can see it a little bit better i'm going to make my line more like a fuchsia line so just going to measure a little little tick mark you can see I've got kind of my my box at the bottom you know how we drew the original box this is going to erase eventually and it's um, just kind of transparent so from the very front from this line where that intersects that I'm just gonna make myself a little mark so don't get confused that's where you're gonna uh, come in right there so you come out of this line this way and then from this line, you're going to come out right here. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see this too well. I may, I may do a little something, something so you can see a little bit better. So you can, you can see now that I've extended that line right there. So from here. A little a little dot right there so what we're going to end up doing um, is we're going to start with our first little line so and y'all know two dots if you got two dots they're gonna make a line Just make sure, now this line that you guys are making right here, this is just straight, it's just a horizontal line. This is uh, not lining up to any point right there. This one, the bottom of this leg is gonna be a mirror image. It's gonna be the exact same. So you just make your straight little line right there. Do the same thing on top. You're gonna make your little tick mark right there to line those two things up. All 
right and you see that little dotted line right there and it should line up too with this little leg right there so you can check both the first leg and then that all right and then you have from this dot to here from here to here. Now, this is a little different. This bottom right here, you see how that is an orthogonal line? That does actually go to a point. So that's the kind of the kind of weird one. So line this and then that original place and you'll line that up to your vanishing point. See how that goes all right and then this one you see how I extended that little line right there for the box and I've got my two little marks right there and then this is horizontal, so therefore this will be horizontal. All right, so we have our legs. The one line that we need right here is the mirror image of that backrest right there. So, oops. So you've got your little thickness there. So the last thing that we're going to do for this particular step is we are going to end up making the very tip top of the backrest right there. So if you look at this, this is below your horizon line. So therefore you would see the very top of, if you can just think of this as like a really thin box, this little part of your backrest right there. So, um, so this isn't too bad. This isn't too hard, this little part. So the next thing that you guys are going to do is this hot pink line that you guys made. I'm going to just come in out of that hot pink line. I'm making a little dot right there. And I am going to take this little part and line it up with my vanishing point. There we go. All right, and then since this is straight and parallel horizontal, all that, this is gonna be the same way. So force yourself to make that ruler go straight. And the way I do that is I line it up with the very edge of my paper and you can't go wrong with that. So that is the very edge of you're actually top of the, the seat. So anyway, the next thing that we're going to do is finish this thing up. That is going to be on the fourth step. So anyway, we'll look forward to that.